guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my third time filming this video now with trying to make this eye look work. Um, so I really hope it goes well this time. I'm going to use the Peach Palette by Revolution. So let's jump straight into it. I'm going to apply this um, Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite infinite concealer onto my eyes I've just been plucking them as well so they are a bit red and obviously I've had to remove and restart my makeup three times now so let's get cracking and I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender I'm going to go in with a Morphe B23 brush and I'm going to go into the shade Apricot which is this like brownie colour here and I'm just going to run this through my crease. Because the one that I did yesterday with the watermelon palette was a bit of a crazy colourful look so I really want this to be easy and I'm just shaping it because I don't want to wing it out And then I'm going to go in with a Morphe 433 brush and I'm going to grab the shade Nectarine which is like an orangey shade and I'm just going to apply this underneath where I've blended out the apricot shade just for a bit of extra depth. I'm not placing it um, like in the outer V or anything yet. I'm just blending it under the apricot shade. And then I'm just blending the two out together. And I'm just taking it like, not on the tip, like on the side. And just blending it out like that. I don't even know what brush this is. I think I got this in like an Amazon set, but like it's like a smaller fluffy brush. Looks like this. And I'm gonna go into the shade bitter almond and I'm just going to blend it going on the outer V gently but I don't want to place this into the crease yet just or blend out I'm just placing it to build it up to the colour just because these and then I'm going to blend it out with this big Morphe 330 brush and I'm going to go in so soft and just blend this nice and slow. There's no rush through the crease. So it's looking like that at the minute. Right, so now I'm going to go into the shade Persian, which is like this goldy colour. And I'm going to go in with Morphe 124 brush. And I'm going to spray 
I'm going to pick up the colour first, sorry, and then spray with MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to place this on the inner half of my eye. I had, um, I made a first look, which I did really like, but I felt like I looked like the sweet, um, the re refreshes sweet. Um, so I wasn't really digging that look and especially because I really wanted to go for quite a neutral look with this just because the look that I did before which will be up already um, was very colourful and I just wanted to show these palettes can be neutral as well as a bit of fun um, so it wasn't the look that I was going for and I'm just blending it out and blending it through the crease and I'm going to go back in with the Morphe 433 just because I've kind of gone quite high with the glitter and I want to blend that bit out. And then I'm going to go back in with the Persian colour but on my fingertip just so I can intensify it now that I've kind of got it placed down. I'm probably going to hate this, but we're going to keep on going. So I'm going back to this like I look like a refresher. And then I'm going to go in with the shade three stone which is this dark brown into the crease and just blending it out Right, so this is the look. I'm not dying for it. I don't know something about these shimmers and like the mattes. They just don't really, like they're applying really nice but I'm just not in, like this is the third time and I'm just not loving the looks. So, I don't know. I, I might play with it again and see how else I feel. But I'm going to go in with the Revolution Moisture Gel. The watermelon, the watermelon one. I'm really just pump like loads of moisture into my skin. The eye look. And a new foundation which I haven't actually tried. It's the Bare Minimals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. It is in warm light. And I'm just going to apply this to my face like so and blend it out with a beauty blender so again see that's what I don't like about these like curved pumps is foundation always gets there I'm just going to pat this on the areas where I'm a bit more like blemishy just so I can get like maximum payoff on these areas and I know it's a lot but my skin is not good at the minute.
I'm also filming after this a get to know me. Um, I'm not sure when this look will be up, uh, if it goes up, but I am filming a get to know me. Um, so that'll be fun. So I'm going to apply the Conceal and Define Infinite just on obviously the areas I want to highlight and con well just conceal really. I'm not really wanting to do a lot of highlighting today. And I'm just going to blend this out with Beauty Blender. Still not digging these eyes for some reason. <laughs> That's okay, we're gonna move on with that. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour um, and I'm just gonna contour my skin for the time being. I'm gonna go in with the shade The Light Contour and the Medium. Oh, it just smells so good. So from that I have just contoured as you can see. I'm going to go in with a, well I'm going to go set my face actually, I'm going to set my face with the, going with the medium and the light contour and just pat this under my eyes. It is growing on me the eyeshadow look but it's definitely not one of like the favourites that I've created and I don't know whether that's because I've just tried it too many times today. Um, but it's definitely worth to show you like the good and the bad um, in terms of like makeup looks. So I'm going to go and continue, I'm going to bronze this time just to give a bit more shimmer on my skin. This is the Too Faced, like it's the heart one, I don't even know the name of this, I got it ages ago. I'm just going to give some more warmth just because I do really like to go ham with my bronzer and underneath. Sometimes when I've been like, and I'm just going to go in with my eyes and get a bit more cohesion there. It is really warming up on me this eye look, it is. I'm going to be completely honest, I feel like if I keep going in and blending, then I would really enjoy it. Be living my best light in the shade Peach Quartz, and I'm just going to go over this um, with this colour. And I'm just mopping out where I put the gold, guys. Yeah, so I am preferring this and then we are going to go back out in a minute and blend this out. This is just a mess, this video, but sorry guys, it will get better. And then I'm going to try um, the Feels 24K um, by Makeup Obsession, which is this highlighter. The Morphe 1510. I just really get loads on my brush. And I'm just putting this 
high points of my cheek, across my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, on the top and on there. I really like that highlighter. I feel like it looks a lot better than the previous um, one look that I did. Right, so it's so tiny and it doesn't have a name and I think it's because I got like a set off Amazon. And I'm going to go into Bitter Almond and Free Stone. So, Bitter Almond and Free Stone. And just kind of blend this out. Oh guys, I'm much preferring this now than when I first like was putting shimmers and things on. This is so much, so much better and I feel like when I put a pair of lashes on and like um, things on it'll look a lot better. And now I'm just going in back in with the Morphe 330 brush. And I'm trying not to do too much, but as you can see, it's looking so much better now. I'm really digging how shiny that is, and it kind of looks not like a cut crease, but like a glitter cut crease. So a lot better. I'm buzzing with that look. So I'm going to go off camera and um, apply my false lashes and my eyebrows. And Hi, so I'm back, and we're going to go do my under eye, and I'm going to go in with if I can open the eyeshadow palette um, with a Morphe 506 and we're going to go into the shade Bitter Almond and also some Apricot and I'm just going to run this underneath my crease uh, underneath my eyes sorry literally that's it I'm not doing anything too crazy And then for my lips, I'm going to go in with Revolution Glory. And then going in with the MAC lipstick in Honey Love. I'm just blending that out so like obviously it's not, you can't just see the line of the lip liner and then I'm going to go in with the XX Revolution um, lip gloss in sequel just over the top this is perfect for that honey love shade so guys this is the finished look um, I've just put some brow gel through um, my eyebrows, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. It was a bit of a mess. Um, I think next time I'm gonna have like a pre look at what I want to fit, uh, what I want to use in the eyeshadow palette, just so it's not so like everywhere. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it and like and subscribe.